300 miles an hour, we live in an amazing time. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, 300 miles an hour. Uh, Bugatti has broken the world record, which was previously held by Koenigsegg. I believe it was uh, a little over 280 miles per hour that they uh, that they managed, and uh, 284, I think. Uh, anyway, don't quote me on that, but uh, 280 something, I believe. And uh, just the other day, Bugatti hit 304.7, I believe, miles per hour, and um, pretty amazing. Now, I know that my channel is primarily related to my Tesla Model 3 and EVs in general, but uh, sitting here in stop and go traffic with autopilot on, it just got me thinking about um, the time that we live in. So when 100 miles per hour was broken in a street legal car, it was considered almost inconceivable that 200 would be hit in a street legal car. Once 200 was hit, 250 really seemed to be probably the, um, <clears throat> the upper limit that you could really expect to hit in a street legal car. So 300 is just pure insanity. And uh, for those of you that aren't all that technically inclined, 300 miles per hour, there are many Bonneville salt flat land speed record cars that are specifically designed only to go fast, have engines that wear out very rapidly, have no comfort, no amenities, aren't street legal, are just purely designed for speed, and not very many of them go over 300 miles per hour. So the fact that a street legal car has been able to do this on DOT approved tires with readily available fuel and you know, air conditioning and all the normal amenities is absolutely astounding. I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. And uh, in fact, when uh, when Bugatti first broke the 250 mile per hour barrier, I kind of figured that would be about it. Maybe we'd see 260, but basically we're pretty much pushing the, the limits of what you can expect from uh, technology, especially with all of the restrictions that are, are present in um, in street legal you know vehicles <clears throat> so this is really something now you know, why do I care I mean I, I talk about EVs well I think it's any any automotive um, epoch or um, limit that's been exceeded really stands to help everybody and I know a bunch of people are gonna say oh you know how's this supposed to help us in any way well the, the greater the performance level that you can achieve from any vehicle, even though that car is a normal internal combustion engine, albeit a 16-cylinder quad-turbo crazy engine, but it, it speed, what it does is it pushes the, uh, the limits of tire technology, it pushes the limits of suspension and aerodynamics and all of those different things that also affect EVs. And I mean, I'm seeing just in the last 16 months, I think it is that I've owned this car, tire technology has improved. And uh, the, the 20 inch tires that I'm using on this car now are far better than the first set of 20s that I got a year back. So all of the, any technology related to any vehicle really uh, has at least the potential of trickling down and benefiting everybody else. So, and I just, I'm a tech junkie, I'm a performance junkie, I, I like this type of thing, I think it's fantastic. Uh, now, of course, the discussion is going to hit, is Tesla going to see if they can reach 300 with the, uh, with the new Roadster? I have no idea, you'll have to ask Elon Musk. I can tell you that the, uh, the Bugatti Chiron that went 304 miles per hour, uh, the standard Chiron is 1,500 horsepower, so I'm not sure if the uh, the car that they used had an increase in horsepower beyond that 1,500. But the uh, if you do the math, the acceleration rate that the uh, the Tesla second generation Tesla Roadster is is achieving, the Tesla Roadster's right around that 1,500 horsepower mark as well. So is 
you know, is it going to be capable of 300? A lot of that depends on gearing. Also, electric motors are primarily uh, high torque, and uh, they, they do better at acceleration than they do top speed. But we'll see. I kind of don't care how fast the, the Roadster goes. It's going to be faster than I can drive it. So I like power, but I don't necessarily need a lot of speed. But, uh, but it does bring up the, the whole question of, uh, first off, how fast are street legal cars going to eventually max out at? And are EVs going to be able to keep pace? EVs are already known to, uh, to out-accelerate the majority of, of gas cars, just primarily because, of, again, of the torque and the fact that you can tailor traction control much more accurately in, a, uh, in an EV than you can in a, uh, an internal combustion engine car, primarily because it's, it's easy to, much easier to modulate torque. It's much easier to modulate torque in, uh, with an electric motor than it is with a gas engine. So uh, I think acceleration is always going to be the domain of electric cars. Will top speed be the domain of electric cars? Only time will tell. But I'm excited to see this. Uh, my thoughts on it are that uh, is that it's going to be good for for Bugatti as a as a mark, and also for the the Volkswagen group as a whole. Which obviously Volkswagen has come under fire over the whole Dieselgate scandal and all the other garbage. So, um, but yeah, I, I like when when um, the automotive sector is in the news in a positive way. And I'm sure some people will look at this as a negative. You know, do we really need to be driving 300 miles an hour and all that? But I'm just talking about any any news-related item for vehicles that's not uh, manufacturers going bankrupt or fatal accidents or whatever. Anything performance-related or any positive news topic related to vehicles, I'm thrilled about. So I'm very happy about this. I'm excited to see what the future holds. And... Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, was it a complete useless waste of time? Do you think it's one of the coolest things ever? Personally, I think it's it's absolutely awesome. I love performance. I love technology. I'll never have $4 million to buy a Bugatti, but that's fine. Uh, I enjoy you know watching what, uh, what all these different uh, extreme exotic vehicle manufacturers come up with. So, anyway, uh, that's it for me for today. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Yes, I know my dash panel's missing. It's being upholstered. It was supposed to be done last week, but I think with the holiday weekend and my upholsterer, they do high-end street rods. So my dash panel and a couple of steering wheels I brought them are sort of little projects that they're squeezing in between you know, large street rod, uh, full interior jobs that they're doing. So... I just sort of have to be patient for that, but uh, as soon as they're, uh, as soon as my steering wheel, I actually have two wheels in being done, and my dash panel are done, then you guys will definitely be the first to see them. So anyway, thanks guys. Have yourselves a great day. Bye bye now.